Say hi, Rita. Say hi. Say hello. I'm Rita. Say hello, I'm Rita. So kids, I'm on the porch. Can y'all hear the Katie dids? The sound of a summer night in Louisiana. It's technically summer. June is just a few days away. The month of June. Here's Rita walking on the rail. Hi, Rita girl. How you doing? How you doing, Rita? It's dark, huh? What you doing out here? You like it out here, Rita? Ooh, you, you're hissing. Must be, uh, oh yeah, it's yellow cat. Rita. Rita, you don't like yellow cat, huh? Come see yellow cat. Come see. Come see here. Come see here, my buddy. Come see. Come see here, my buddy. Yellow cat, come see here, my buddy. Fox face, come here, boy. Say hello to the kids in Germany. Say hello to Arthur and Eva. Say hi. Don't touch any of that keyboard, though. Huh? Come see. Come see. Say hi, boy. You happy? You like it when I pet you? Fox face. So, yeah, kids, that was Fox face. It's dark out here, obviously. There's the neighbor over there. He has lights on his camper. And then here's the sky above me. Let's see if you can see any stars. Probably not. Just the sky above me. Oops! Fox face is in my feet. Can't see anything now, huh? Walking around my building, you can see my shadow, and you can see. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not, it's dark. My air conditioner behind me. You can't really see anything, it's too dark. But there's a big tree right here. An elderberry. See? I don't know what you call, I think it's, no, what do they call elderberry in German? I don't know. There's a name for it though, I'd have to look it up. So Rita's still hanging around. You all see Rita right here? My buddy Rita. Rita the rat killer. So y'all listen again to the Katie Dids, the sound of a Louisiana night.
It's 9.37 p.m. at night. And it's warm out here and humid and there's no breeze. So it's pretty warm. It's like being in a in a Gavax house. Gavex house? Like being in a greenhouse. It's hot. So I just wanted to tell you all the latest news. So Sarah went to see Opa Pete in the hospital today. And uh, the thing was, he uh, Sarah said that he obviously must have woken up and didn't like the tubes that they had in his nose. And he tried to pull them out, and so he had blood inside his nose a bit. And so when Sarah was there, he was sleeping again. They sedated him, and they had fixed the tubes in his nose, but he st still had a little bit of blood around his uh, nostrils because of how he was trying to pull the tubes out of his nose because he's hard-headed. He doesn't like tubes and things. So Sarah told them, the nurses, not to wake him up, and she just talked to him and squeezed his hand while he was in the bed. And tomorrow they're supposed to wake him up and or whatever. I don't know if they're going to wake him up. Maybe they are. But anyway, tomorrow they're going to do the surgery. They're probably not going to wake him up. I don't know. Whatever they do, they're going to do the tracheostomy. Make the hole in his uh, throat so he can breathe. Because of his severe sleep apnea. Because he's overweight. And uh, yeah, that's what's going to happen tomorrow. Sarah and Johnny, my brother, and my mom are going to the hospital tomorrow. I'm not working tomorrow. I'll be here until it gets too warm, and then then I'll go to McDonald's. Or maybe I'll go in the trailer for a bit before I go to McDonald's. And, uh, yeah, that's all that's going on here. I miss y'all. I'll try to call again next weekend on... Uh, Friday? Yeah. No, not Friday. Saturday. I'll try to call y'all, you know, Saturday afternoon. Hopefully y'all be y'all will be around. There's Rita over there acting up, jumping around. See her? See Rita on the on the porch rail? There are a lot of June bugs flying around tonight. June bugs are like like your German Maikäfer. Here they, they, ha they come more in June and they're smaller. But they're almost like your Maikäfer, just a bit smaller. And they fly around and they eat the leaves in the trees. The same leaves that the katydids that you hear now. Chirping, the katydids, you can hear them. They eat the leaves too, the June bugs and the katydids. And the cicadas in the daytime suck the sap from the tree branches they live from the sap of the tree you know the the flussish kite the fluid the sap the blood of the tree that's what the cicadas eat so i love y'all hope y'all liked my last video hope your mom lets me call next weekend i guess around two or three so anyway your daddy loves you Pray for Opa Pete. Pray for all of us. That's Dad's little house behind me. That's where I'm going right now. And gonna eat me a salmon, smoked salmon and spring salad wrap with some kind of condiment, some kind of sauce. Maybe ranch or maybe spicy buffalo or something I have from a restaurant left over from when I bought food. I'll eat that in my wrap, drink something, check my messages, upload this video to YouTube, and uh, watch maybe Moon Knight on Disney Plus or something like that, or some YouTube videos. Oh yeah, kids, I don't know if y'all care about physics, but I watched a physics lecture, The Science of Physics, by Leonard Suskind or Suskind I don't know how you say it in German Leonard Suskind and it was about quantum gravity and relative you know the physics 
macro physics, normal classical physics, physics of uh, E equals MC square, and they were talking about the, the similar equations for gravity in classical physics match the holographic principle of coded information around the edge of a part of space. Like if you wanted to understand the makeup of space, you would cut out a part and then all around the edge of that part would be the information coded. Same with the universe, the boundary area of the universe. That's where the information coded in that codes the universe is located. Things are not where you think they are is a physics motto. And so if you perturb a field, affect it with energy in quantum physics, it changes all of the particles uh, in an exponential way until all the particles have been changed. And this change is equivalent in calculations and equations, mathematical formula, to the equations of gravity in classical physics. So they're trying to find a way to uh, connect quantum physics to classical physics and I watched a lecture on that yesterday on YouTube so maybe I'll watch some more lectures like that tonight so I love you Arthur I love you Evangeline and I always loved your mom even though I think she doesn't love me but say la vie and I'll talk to you all again and I'll try to call next weekend later